Previously on Unleashed, WFO, everything on the engine side had been sorted out, moving toward the transmission, and it was stuck in neutral. Upon opening up the T-56, and it looked like it was in need of a rebuild. It needed surgery. We did everything we could, despite our best efforts. It didn't make it. There it is, partially in body bags. I do have this. Had it for an emergency. Actually, had it for another car. <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice. Got the replacement T56 going in. And I'm going to start connecting the clutch lines. I also got to get the mount back on the cross member and the drive shaft in. Yeah. Going to get holes connected from here to there. Fill up that reservoir. And then plug this guy in. Yeah, bro. Skirt, skirt! Controlling fluid. Terminator's powered on. Let it cook. Not 100% complete uh, front end conversion, but it's in place. Need a notch. Some here so it, it accepts the whole piece or change the way that coupler routes. Um, engine's running pretty damn good. Now I'm gonna tie up some loose ends. I was working on the clutch connection but this is like a quick connection and the piece that needs to go on is threaded I checked my box the uh, other holes that goes to the threaded part to connect to this one did not come with it so I'm gonna have to get in touch with McCloy or whoever I ordered this from to send me another one out so I am gonna situate these wirings i got some loom here i'll get that uh, in place and probably route the ones that need to go to this side under this bar i think maybe eventually i'll drill some holes in the bottom and let it pass through it it would look nicer and it, it really it would really hide it more um i got the fuse panel just hanging down there i'll go ahead and get that back into place and Put more of this interior back into position. Oh, got this cool little horn. Makes like a bird scream. I think I'm gonna mount that under the bumper right here and let it face down. It's a cool little gadget. It's neat. Yeah, so I think the only thing that was keeping us from going to take this thing for a little enjoy ride is that connection for the clutch. And I do have some boxes of parts. I'll see if it did come. I doubt it came with it, so I'll, I would remember that. But if it did come with it, I'm gonna find it in one of these boxes. I was missing some hose clamps on that heater bypass. 
I got the wires kind of routed about how I'd like them to go. I don't have the inner fenders on yet, so. Um, pass over the exhaust. I can put a strap to hold it onto the firewall. It'll route in the fender. I um, think I'd like to drill a hole and pass it under the bar where it pops up on the other side and the horns can maybe pop out right here. Looks good, all tucked away. Got some universal LED lights that can be the turn signals. The light makes the same angle as the vent here. With the headlight bezel, with the trim here, it'll allow air to pass right through and hit that radiator pretty good. Fuse box is mounted. That's a little pain to get to, but it's done. Looking at making this thing a drift car. We got a hydraulic e-brake, some lines, calipers, and brackets for a dual caliper setup. Oh, rear wheels are off. Oh yeah. There isn't any real room on this car right now to add a second caliper. So we are gonna run the lines from the handle straight to the caliper. Issue now is that this doesn't fit. So I got the block off and I'll find a tap and make it work. So I mean, this is going to be a dedicated drift car now. We can block off the rears up here. Keep the lines there, I guess, to ever reverse this. But I don't think I'll need to. We got a bracket made for the hydro e-brake handle. Let it cook. switch if I see if I can fit that here He's working on the dash starting like a race car boost the speedometer the holly screen's gonna go there we got the switch panel and then the left and right air fuel ratio gauges. Now that is a completely custom race dash. A piece of the puzzle, finally in. Yeah, these were in back order and they seem hard to come by. The kit wasn't missing the clutch line. It didn't come with the slave cylinder. After some tinkering around, the clutch line is in and I'll add some fluid. Machines we may need for that slave cylinder. Some check valves for our vacuum system. We're gonna get this thing on the lift. It's about to go down or up. Three 
size shims and we're going to put the thinnest one in here. Put, put too much, no breaks to stop it. <laughs> 